Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be going along with the part one video of finding that um, center of mass in your foot. So I actually wanted to do some real world testing on this and uh, right now I'm out here in Summerlin in Las Vegas. So they have this really nice bike trail that actually extends for quite a, quite a while all the way from uh, at least here on Cheyenne and I've seen it on Google Maps go past Red Rock Casino. So it's a pretty nice, really well paved trail. So I thought this would be a good place to kind of test what I was going about in part one of the video. So as you can see here, as we went over, I have that tape that divides, you know, essentially the left half from the right half. You can see on my shoe here, I put a couple pieces of orange tape. And those are supposed to simulate the exact point, at least on my foot, where that center of mass is, that kind of dividing point between the uh, propulsion skeleton system of the uh, foot and the um, and the uh, receptive I think was the term for that part of the foot basically that middle ground where you go between this kind of motion and this kind of motion right so I'm essentially putting that orange dot in line with the middle blue tape there and again I usually put my feet a little bit forward alpine style Okay, and then I'm putting it towards the back of the board here. And then in the front, I'm going to put this more towards the wheel. And again, you can see that orange tape is lining up with, um, with that uh, center blue tape. So let's see how the wobble works with this. Okay, so I'm going to go in and accelerate here. And I'll try to just film my back foot. I apologize for the noises I'm moving. I, it's only my cell phone camera. So I'm getting pushed back right now. I'm going about, you know, it must be about 15 or 14 miles an hour. And at least based on what I feel, I'm not really looking down at my feet right now. It looks like I'm pretty, pretty balanced. I'm not noticing a lot of wobbles. I'm going to try to carve a little bit. And at least from a carving point of view, this feels much more comfortable than uh, yesterday when I didn't really figure out that center of mass in my foot. You know, going heel side turn is still a little bit, you know, wonky for me. I'm still getting used to that. Oh, sorry. I think I completely missed my foot for the last 20 seconds there. Let me just keep quiet and let you guys enjoy the video. Still working on my dismount. All right, so this one, I'm gonna put that orange dot a little bit more to the right of that center in the back. Let's keep my foot in the front exactly the same. And let's see how I do at max speed on the pipe. So that one felt actually not too bad. A little bit more wobbly than the last one, but you know, definitely not as bad as I thought it would be. This time let's put my center mass a little bit left of that tape. So my heel is almost over the uh, left railing there. And again, keeping my front foot the same. Okay, and let's ride this one out.
Oh, nice. I got it that time. That one definitely felt the most uh, unstable for me. So if I was to rate it again, I would say midline with my center mass on my foot. Most stable. Not too bad. And then least stable right here. So um, I don't know. For me, that seems to work pretty well. I'm going to keep this foot now centered. And now this one I'm going to bring a little bit to the right of the tape. And let's see what happens with that one. And again, I'm a little bit close to the tire there. It's a little bit right of it. And let's see how this goes. Definitely way too much toe hanging off. So already this does not feel good to me. was the most uncomfortable but I think that's really more to do with just my toe hanging off too much again let's put that in line with the orange on the back and this time let's put it left of center so my heel again is kind of hanging off the edge here and near the tire again to me at least so I don't know I'm gonna stick with what has worked for me center and center a little angled forward alpine style rear foot more towards the back of the board and then here same thing lined up alpine style more towards the tire on the board and then I'm gonna do some carving here on these uh, nice checkered lines and let's see how that works out So here I'm having to shift between, you know, flexion and extension, flexion and extension of my ankle, but also of my feet. So for me at least, this feels the least wobbly. I don't know how it looks on camera. And it also makes it the easiest for me to carve left to right, left to right. And uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this in the other video, I am 6'2", and 180 pounds, I'm wearing size 11 shoes here. Nothing special on my uh, foot pads, no special grip, no, uh, whoop, got a bump there. No special uh, padding on the, uh, on the uh, cushions, no special padding or cushions on the uh, foot pad so just very basic right. so let's go back uh, down now oh, still working on that dismount all right now comes the hard part so this time I'll just enjoy the ride here You guys enjoy that view got the Vegas strip there in the background it's highway 215 on the right all right now we're going downhill so let's uh, let's get some carving in here
All right, let's just gun it straight, see if we got any wobble there. Not too bad. All right, so that'll do for now. Um, hope you guys found that helpful. And again, sorry for the bad audio. I need to invest in some better equipment. But yeah, looks like this works for me. Hopefully it works for you. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If this is uh, just terrible or if this seems to be working. And uh, I'm going to try some other stuff and see what I can find out. Have a good ride, guys. See you on the next one.